Hey there. Uh, my name is Sumit Mundala and my topic is testing strategies for generative AI application. In this particular topic, we are going to see what is generative AI, how generative AI application works, what are different widely used generative AI models and how they basically get strained. We will also look some of the key challenges faced by generative AI applications. And then, of course, we will look some of the key testing strategies one should follow while doing the software testing for generative AI based applications. So let's get started. What is generative AI? Generative AI is a type of artificial intelligence which can generate new contents. Contents such as text, images, music. Now, how generative AI applications learn? Generative AI application basically learns from the pattern and complex structure from their input training data. And based on these, they try to create the similar content having the similar characteristics. Generative AI applications are quite different from the discriminative models, where discriminative models try to solve the problem of predictions and classification. On the other hand, generative AI applications try to create the content altogether. Generative AI applications are powerful because of their ability to use different training methodologies such as unsupervised learning, semi-supervised learning, and that's make them unique. Generative AI applications can be unimodal or multimodal, meaning they can use one input at a time and they can also use multiple input. Now, after understanding what is generative AI application, let's try to understand some of the widely used generative AI models. Number one is variational autoencoder, which is a deep learning neural network which uses the concept of encoder and decoder. Now, here encoder is a neural network which tries to create the sample data after encoding into the latent space. On the other hand, decoder try to transform this representation into actual content. Examples of variational autoencoders are data creation such as text images. They can also widely use for anomaly detection. Another key generative AI model is generative adversarial network popularly called as GANs. This model uses the concept of generator and discriminator where generator tries to create a sample data or say tries to fool the discriminator. On the other hand, discriminator tries to evaluate, distinguish the sample data created by generator or say give feedback back to generator. If we take an analogy of a gaming, both generator and discriminator do competition among them. They do this repeatedly during the training phase. Another interesting model for generative AI is transformer based model, which uses the concept of transformer architecture. The popular model is large language model, which has an ability to use vast amount of a data. Examples are generative pre-trained transformer, popularly known as GPT developed by OpenAI. GPT basically widely work on natural language processing. Examples are ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot. Now, what is important here to understand, there is a complex nature of training these models. Training process also quite different. And data is a crucial part while dealing with the generative AI based application. Now, let's try to understand some of the key challenges faced by generative AI models. Number one is a data. As we understand, the quantity, quality, diversity of the data is very important to train the generative AI model. And that's make it quite challenging to have this data in terms of all the quality, quantity and diversity and without noise and in a structured way. Another key challenge is model accuracy and performance. Due to the complex nature of training the generative AI model, Though there are a lot of evaluation metrics present, it becomes quite challenging while doing the accuracy and performance measurement for this model. And of course, also the benchmarking. Another challenge is bias. There could be unstructured data. And due to that kind of a nature into the training, there could be bias into the model output. 
and we need to understand the mitigation ways of how to remove these bias. Now, after understanding the challenges of generative AI application, let's jump into some of the key testing strategies one should follow while doing the software testing for generative AI based application. As we understand, the data is the most important factor, hence data validation becomes most important factor and a strategy while dealing with the generative AI applications. We need to understand the quality, quantity, diversity of the data is tested. Also, we need to ensure that the data noise and bias is also tested. Then we deal with model testing, for example, model algorithm testing. Here, we have a lot of evaluation metrics present such as accuracies, precisions, F1 score, and so on. If we are dealing with natural language proce uh, processing, then perplexity, for example, the probability of the next word into the given sequence, this kind of a evaluation matrix can also be used. Similarly, there are others like Blue, Raj. So this kind of a evaluation matrix has to be used while doing the model evaluation. Then comes the prompt engineering. If we are dealing with the large language model, then prompt engineering is a very important for testing. During the prompt engineering, we give prompt as an input to large language model. And then they use this process to do the training and model optimization for large language model. Another interesting testing strategy is model consistency testing. As we understand the dynamic nature of the generative AI application, it becomes very important to monitor and do this model consistency testing to understand the output is consistent or not for generative AI applications. Similarly, invariance testing is also a very important testing strategies where we try to see the output of the model is consistent or same or not while we are changing the input. Then interesting testing strategy is failure injection. One has to put the failure into the model and try to evaluate how the model is giving desired output or not. Failure injection becomes very important testing strategies to understand how model is behaving while putting the failures and then if we are getting the desired output or not. After that, then metaphoric testing becomes a very important testing strategies particularly to solve the problem of test oracle, where when as a tester, we are not certain about the output. To solve this kind of a test oracle problem, we have to use metaphoric testing and put that as one of the key testing strategies while dealing with generative AI applications. And then benchmarking your testing models are very critical and important. There are a lot of platform one can use to see how the models are getting evaluated based on different matrices. And then you can compare your models benchmarking against other model. Now, these are some of the key testing strategies. But to note here, there are a lot many. For so example, A-B testing, stress testing, white box testing. What is essential here to understand? One has to understand the business case, the product, and then we have to understand which kind of a testing strategies will fit best. And that's where generative AI application testing at times become quite challenging. So that's it from my end for today. Thank you for watching. Keep learning, keep sharing.